hi jana uh, earlier i heard you you know talking about this classification of uh, you know the companies that consume software and the companies which produce software right uh, and i also heard vasu mentioning about uh, the kind of uh, journey and the experience that uh, you know you brought in working with the healthcare um, provider I, I would like to ask you two questions. One is, yeah, of course, uh, tell us more about mm. what exactly was that and what difference that it made mm. to this healthcare uh, provider. The second question is, this uh, two sect of people that we are talking mm. about, the producers of software and consumers of software, both are talking about embracing AI, mm. right? How do you see these people approaching this uh, subject? Is there a common way for both of them to approach uh, an ai journey or you feel taking into account the activation ai mm. uh, you know uh, approach that uh, we are talking about mm. how do you think that these two segments should be looking at uh, the ai journey got it. got it let me start with my answer for uh, the the use case uh, question that you asked uh, said what would activation ai be able to offer for people who are in the healthcare uh, domain and i'll give examples that we have worked with two examples come to my mind one um, is a isv label software for automating the prior authorization form related workflow in us um, i'm going to give a, a, a sort of a, an understanding in terms of the landscape in which they are operating on so they have like you know 30 to 50 uh, vendors really large vendors were operating in uh, us uh, and uh, these are all insurance companies and they have built a workflow automation system that basically helps these uh, insurance companies to coordinate between different uh, you know roles that are involved in the prior authorization form there is a patient there is a prescriber there is a provider and the diagnosis and the drug is involved in the workflow and the conversations that these people have so that's the role these are all the people who need the software and because of the fact that prior authorization form innately has different kinds of uh, templates it, it, you cannot kind of stick all of them together in a in, in a sort of a, a streamlined you get to use this sort of a template and that's it doctors will not listen to you so it introduces a lot of variety in the in in, in the use case then from a from a volume standpoint they would probably be dealing with millions of papers on a single day so it kind of introduces volume now what the customer wanted and if i have to kind of connect the dot with what was to said is they wanted a means by which they can build a system that can perform extraction in our lingo we call that as activation of all the data that is kind of caught up in these papers and then find a way to put that data into the workflow system and do it in a manner where they can bring down the errors they can bring down the time that is being spent because somebody needs to look at the form on one hand say on one hand and kind of do data entry on the other hand how they can kind of quicken the process so these were the kind of requirements that they had so activate data is a word that has this sort of magic which is do you want to do activate data by ai or do you want to date activate data for ai the example that was gave for the unit economics for the banking is about doing activate data for ai they had in, in insane amount of clarity banks have insane amount of clarity in terms of making sure that the data goes to the right place but for the case that we have in healthcare it is about doing activate data by ai so we have to build a system we have to build a system it was not something that we had before we had to build a system by taking all the knowledge that uh, the genies of the world had to see how we can address the variety function and the volume function which was extremely different from rest of the use cases that they had and this is an example where we are able to use our <coughs> capability to address the activate data by ai for our customer where one yes sir yeah um, you just uh, correct me if i'm sure, wrong sure, sure. when you talk about extracting from mm. electronic documents mm. people immediately look into hey there is ocr already correct. i'm doing through ocr correct. Wow, how different this is what benefit this brings in can you throw some light on that uh, sure 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 one of the things that we started by the time when we wanted to address a problem for uh, this uh, customer in, in, in specific terms was to look at ocr but the definition and the magnitude of the problem is different for example we had thousands of templates now information about patient name and related details will be in one place in one template 
but it would be in a different uh, place in different temperature which means that the amount of time that you need to take to kind of cater specifically to different templates for different use cases is so enormous that the total cost of ownership for the customer was getting really really high now what and let's say for example you have a brand new template coming in mm-hmm. you again have to spend configuration time which the customer said i am not willing to do that is there a way by which you can build some system which will have some level of wisdom in terms of addressing this with some level of you know certainty that is where the current advancements that that we have in ai will come into play eventually we'll be able to go to a place where we can do zero shot activation or extraction without worrying about any of the templates and we are walking that path none of this is possible in osi sir thanks yes. that's uh, i hope helps to uh, you know address the uh, the use case that we have with respect to health care the second question if i remember correctly is how the activation ai as a philosophy will be able to address people who who, ha- who we have as customers who are consumers of the software and they and, and the other other cohort which is people who create the software as a, as a philosophy will we be able to address them I think at this point in time I see some level of similarities in terms of what activation AI can do. One of the things that we are trying to do is to do more with less. Hence we are narrowing down the focus. You know one of the visions that the founders have is not to do too much. Hence we are saying we're only going to focus on activate data, activate experience and activate code. That could be other things too. At this point in time it is not a prerogative to go ahead and then work with the company that wants to address FSD. or for that matter go ahead and help a company that wants to build something that is as close as what chat gpt is all about our focus is not that our focus is to see how we can help our customers who belong to these two cohorts people who build software people who create software under these three premises only there might be other things but we want to do more with less hence we are narrowing down for narrowing down our focus and as a philosophy i am of the firm belief that there are a lot of similarities that we have in terms of addressing both of them let's see where the journey takes us ahead That's my answer for the second question. Thank you.